Hello guys, my name is Tim Del Money Andrew and I'm a data analyst for your business. So for today's session, I'm going to show you how to create a correlation matrix in Power BI using Python. So the other day I was creating a project that involved me creating a correlation matrix. And I discovered that you can easily create cor correlation matrix in Power BI, except you have to get an external tool from an external, get additional, get more visuals, right? So what about in a situation where you want to create a correlation matrix inside of your Power BI? So we all know we can create cor correlation matrix in Python, in R, or some other statistic tools. So most of you may ask what is correlation matrix. So, so it helps you to get correlation coefficient between variables. So correlation matrix is basically used to get what correlation coefficient between variables. So for this section, I'm going to show you how to use Python to get correlation matrix. So first thing I'm going to do, I'll click on my Python visuals over here. So it's asking me should I enable it, I'll say enable, right? So what the first thing I need to do now, I need to drag some values inside. I need to drag some columns inside here, right? From this my data table over here. So I'm going to click on my data table. So I'm going to drag aesthetics. Um, okay, disability. I want this. I want energy. So I'm also dragging. I'm also putting different columns inside. Instrumentation, length, liveliness, loudness, popularity, speech. Okay, I'm in speech also. Tempo, time signature. Variance. So this project is actually for Spotify music, right? I got some Spotify data. So I'm trying to create a correlation matrix between all the columns I got. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to import some variables which are the libraries I'll be needing. So I'm going to import first, I'm going to import pandas, import pandas, speedy, I'll say import numpy, import numpy, SMP. I'm going to import matplotlib. Import matplotlib. .py plot. Plt. Also, we need a symbol, right? Import symbol. Sorry, symbol. As as. So we see that, right? So if you look at this, right? If you notice this. You see that the table has been given, the data table has been given, the data variable table has been given as what data set. So just put in mind that your data table is what called data set. So what I will do now, just put some functions. I'll say f comma x must be equals to plt so plot, right? So plot. Okay, but how to add like the figure size? So I'll say Fix size equals to let's put that let's say 14 by 10, right? I will say okay, C C bone plus it's map. So I'll, I'll create an it's map, right? So my correlation matrix will be an it's map. It map in bracket. Remember the data set is what? So let's copy this, paste it here. That's my data set does correlation. In my bracket, okay. Comma, add an alternation. Let's make it true. Right? Comma, let's add the format. So it's just a special format, it's not something really serious. F. Okay, comma, x. ax must be equal to ax. So these are some basic conditions to use when you're creating a um, correlation table in Python. So I have to first do this inside my Python file. Say plc dot show bracket. I think that's all right. So I just need to just run the visual. Let's see. So I'm running it. Run is running. It's loading. And voila. Just is out now. So that's how beautiful this. So if you look at this, right, you can see that the loudness is highly what correlated with what energy. You can see the cell points. Seven. The highest you can get is what 1.0. That's like 100 percent. So you can see loudness to energy has a very very high correlation. I think rest of them are not really having that much. You can see like um I have negative 0 0.5. Let's see which one is that. So that's pitch towards danceability. Yeah, you can see that 
most songs that there's a lot of dancing songs right you, you only get speech in it so that's cool that's cool so that's like let's check it on pop um, on python let's compare it with python. python for this you can see the python code also yes so this is the python code i wrote and this is also the same thing in power bi so i hope you guys learned a lot this video was brought to you by your business bye and have fun guys